Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, I get a subscription every month from Art Snacks and this is the April box and what they sent me. I'm going to be doing my sketch in this lettering snacks box, which is also from Art Snacks. So in the box they send you, um, normally it's already wrapped, but uh, my friends unwrapped it for me. Um, they send you about four or five different ones. This is the uh, Pentel One Click Mechanical Pencil, and it does exactly as it sounds. It's uh, one click and it is ready to write. Really enjoyed using this pencil. This is the Coran Luminescent colored pencil. I got a blue color. It is permanent and um, it's really a nice shade of blue to use in the sketch I'm going to do. This is my favorite. It's a Zebra Sensations double-ended brush pen. Um, I really enjoy the Zebra products. That end has a medium size brush and then the other side has a even thinner nice nib. It's a uh, felt tip pens and they are waterproof. It's fantastic. And this is the Iron Lac Pump Action Paint Marker. Um, I was really excited to get one of these and um, it did not lose the uh, color. I didn't have to um, pump it as I was using it, which is what I normally have to do. Um, so it was very exciting to get this. And it is water-based acrylic paint and it has the uh, valve inside of it, the valve system, which is why it keeps its color. Now for each box, I like to uh, test out the items before I decide to um, draw my months. And this pen, it took way less to get it to load out. And once it was loaded, the ink just kept on flowing out. I was really excited. And I love green. Green's my favorite color. So I had the color blue and the color green, a pencil and a pen to work with this month. So here I'm just testing it out. It keeps the color and it's, it's absolutely beautiful. You can write on many surfaces. I'm going to have to get some more iron lac. And then I wanted to see how this color would come out. It's very, very high pigment and a beautiful blue color. I was really excited about that. And that, I love Zebra. I love their pens. And I was really shocked that the bigger nub um, actually was very easy to work with. I usually don't use the bigger size, but I'll be using that one. And it, I was able to use it almost exactly the same as the smaller one, which is what I normally use. And with every box, I always want to see if I add water, what will happen to it. And all of these said permanent, but I like to test it out. And I was happy to find that the color pencil, no matter how much I tried, would not smudge. Same went with the, uh, the Iron Lac uh, Pump Action Paint Marker. Um, no, ma no matter water did it. Um, the Zebra pen... Um, held up just like the other ones where as you can see the water gets a little uh dark but unlike some other pens um the lines were still very clear and you know i tried to splatter see if it would come off on my brush but it did not and even though i the water is black the pen marks are still um intact so definitely all three permanent so i knew i wouldn't be using water in this drawing. So after deciding what I was going to draw, I started off, I'm going to draw a peacock and I start off with the head making a round circular shape, drawing out a very rough sketch of the, uh, the beak. I had planned on doing details with the pen. So I get the eye in place and the neck and the back. And then I, once I was happy with that, I drew where the feathers started out. Just a rough sketch. Again, go back with 
um, a pen later to define it. And then I was just drawing placeholders for the feathers, where I wanted some to come out longer, some to come out shorter. And then I decided to just, I didn't like the shape of the beak as it was, or the back of the head. I wanted to make it a little bit, a little bit wider. So I grab my grand color pencil and just did a quick, not this quick, it was sped up, <laughs> but just lay down blue and I didn't want to make it smooth. I wanted to keep the line showing because it almost shows like their feathers. And then I went back in and put in some shading underneath their chin on the back of the peacock and around the belly. And then I had to darken the eyelid and around the bottom of the eye. And then I realized I didn't put the crown for the peacock. So I decided to go in and, and do that as well. And then after shading it a little bit more, I just added a little dimension and darkened up some other areas of the uh, feathers on the peacock's neck. And then I knew I wanted to do two blue colors using the same pencil for the eye of the feathers. So I just did a, a light circle and then a darker circle in between. Once I had all my feathers, or I thought all my feathers completely done, I realized I missed one when I was going back with the green. But now I want to fill in this part of the tail. And then I'm gonna use the same green after filling this in, which again, you won't see me pump this at all like I would with other ones. Now I start the, the feathers. Just do all the shorter feathers and then the four long ones going around each eye like the peacock feathers do. Now I'm going to reach for the, the zebra pen and make details. Outline loosely, very loosely. I like to loosely outline almost all of my drawings and paintings just because I think it adds a, um, an abstract um, feel to it. So I'm adding little details on the forehead of feathers, little details in the crown, and outline. I'll outline the neck and make the eye and then I'll add the um, little feathers and little details in all the, uh, the feathers on the tail of the peacock.
So here again, I do a very loose outline, this half circle on the tail, and then I add all the little feathers. I clustered some together and then left some loose just to, again, give it detail and a little bit of an abstract feel. And then I found the scripture that I wanted to put with this peacock in Ezekiel. So I decided to only write two words in cursive and the rest I wanted to make box letters. So I just needed to make a guide because since the zebra pins are permanent, after I wait for it to dry a little bit, I can go back with my um, sumo grip eraser. Uh, which is also from the Art Snacks box, um, a previous one, I believe, in uh, March, I think I got it, which I absolutely love, the Sumo Grip eraser, um, and I can go back and erase these lines, but right now I just wanted to use the uh, Pentel one-click pencil, mechanical pencil, to plan out the writing of the scripture. Usually I tried something different. Usually I try to uh, give myself enough room to make all the the swirls of the uh, D's or, you know, lowercase G's. Try to give myself enough room to just let it go. But this one I decided to have it go through the top line. I thought that would be a different and fun way to do my calligraphy on the word uh, splendor and beauty. So now that I have everything planned with pencil, um, I will go over it with the zebra markers and I need to test how long I need to wait after marking to use the Sumo Grip Eraser. So I'm just quickly doing some lines and curves to see how long it takes to dry permanently. And as you can see, if I immediately try it, it fades and smudges. Um, but those that I let absorb into the paper, they don't fade or smudge at all. So now that I know that, I can go over my pencil lines with the Zebra Zensation marker. Now you can do what's called faux calligraphy with any ballpoint pen or marker, Crayola markers, anything. Um, but the thing I love about these calligraphy markers is that it does all the work for you. So you just have to train your wrists to lightly do your upstrokes and then press down hard on your downstrokes. And that's how you get that. So this was my April box breakdown. Um, I realized that I hadn't signed the paper before I erased it. So I needed to do that. Um, I hope you like it. Click subscribe so that way you can see all my videos. And thank you for watching. And I hope you guys tune in next time.